morning students today we are going to cover the topic network networking devices you have already got the notes for this chapter computer network so today we are going to cover network devices fine so let us see these are the networking network devices i hope it is visible to you fine first network networking devices that we are going to cover is modem fine i think so all of you are very much familiar with this device modem why we use this device yes definitely to connect it connect our computer with internet yes now modem stands for modulator demodulator understand what is modulator demodulator uh, to understand this first we need to understand what is modulation process and demodulation process okay now uh, you know that uh, when we connect our system with internet we normally connect it with uh, through wireless or wired medium yes wireless like wifi and wired medium just like uh, leased line or telephone lines yes okay when your signal travels in wires or in wireless media that travels uh, using your analog signal analog signal means continuous like in the form of waves okay so uh, your wire and wireless medium take your data in the form of analog signal but as our computer is digital device it can process only digital signal so there must be a uh, one thing one uh, device you can say or you can say software or hardware which should which can convert your digital signal in digital data into analog signal and analog signal into digital data so the process of converting your digital data into analog signal is known as modulation and conversion of your analog signal to digital signal is known as demodulation a device which perform this task is known as modem that's why without modem we are not able to connect our system with computer as on transmission medium your signal go travels in the form of analog signal and in your computer it um, exist in digital form okay so see what is written over here a modem is a hardware device that allows a computer to send and receive information over telephone lines when sending a signal the modem converts digital data into analog signal and transmit it over telephone line similarly when analog signal is received the modem convert it back to digital signal fine students okay now second device is hub hub is what this is basically to connect to establish a lan to connect more than one computer in a computer network basically a uh, hub is a device let's suppose uh, you must have seen hub if not i'll show you here this is one hub you can see here the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 these are the connection points okay the, this is one five port hub fine students now what is hub is uh, one electronic device that connects several nodes or several computer to form a network and it redirects the receive information to all connected nodes in broadcast mode this is very important one see we have seen uh, the image of five port hub then uh, in five port if we have connected five computers together then one of them will be one sender yes so let's suppose if a computer connected to port 1 sends something on uh, to hub in order to uh, send it to any other computer 
what hub will do it will broadcast to rest pore lines okay so what happen in this case your bandwidth if your total hub uh, can send a data in the speed of 20 mbps your 20 mbps speed will be divided into four po uh, four lines as uh, it has to forward that message into four lines so the final rate will be 5 mbps 5 megabyte per seconds okay the computers for which the information is intended receives this information and accepts it and rest of the computer simply reject this information basically there are two types of hub first one is passive hub and second one is active hub passive hub do what it uh, simply receives the sing signal and as it is it forwarded to the all other lines but active hub basically receives the sim signal amplifies it it boosts up the signal and then it forward that to other port fine students now next is your switch switch is somewhat similar to your hub but there is a major difference that it is also known as intelligent hub now what do we mean by intelligent hub basically switch do not broadcast the incoming signal instead it just forward that signal only to the receivers line see what is written over here a switch is a network device which is used to interconnect computers or devices on a network it filters and forwards data packet across a network the main difference between hub and switch is that hub replicates what is received on one port onto all other ports while switch keeps a reca record of mac addresses of the devices at attached to it and forwards data packets onto the port for which it is addressed across a network that's why switch is intelligent fine students okay mac address one thing we noticed here is mac address mac address is what this is a physical address of your device of your computer basically all devices maybe your fridge your tv all the electronic device have one physical address that is known as mac address so your computer in internet is recognized by either physical address or the logical address so mac is the physical address that is not logical address that is physical address i'll clear this logical address concept again to you afterwards right now for you this is something uh, the hexadecimal value separated by co with colon you can see this in on your devices so your uh, switch basically keeps the record of mac address of all the devices connected to it attached to it and it forwards the data only for to the port for which the data packet is intended fine students now uh, next device is repeater repeater is what repeater basically used in between the two computers if they are connected with each other but there is a uh, you can say a distance is more between two computer so what it do it just receives the uh, signal amplifies the signal regenerated and send it again on the communication channel so that it can your signal can travel to a long distance fine students it is just like amplifier which receives the signal boost it up and forward it okay so see what is it written over here a repeater is a device that is used to amplify and 
regenerate a signal which is on its way through our communication channel. A repeater regenerates and regenerates the received signal and retransmit to its destination. Fine. Next is router or router. You can pronounce it according to you. Both pronunciations are clear, correct. Router and router. Router is basically what it is used for a big network. We have learned a hub switch. These are basically used to create a LAN. But router is a device which is used to create MAN or WAN. Okay, now what is router? It is basically a device which receives the data from one network and forward to the other network yes so basically uh, your data service provider like the service internet service provider use routers to send and receive data packets okay so what is written over here a device that forwards data packet from one network to another by finding the shortest route yes the one of the task of your router is to find the shortest route or the uh, route with least traffic based on an internal routing table the address of the destination network in the incoming packets and router determines whether to send the packet out or keep it within the network fine students and the last device is gateway gateway is a device which is used to connect a dissimilar network. Now, what is dissimilar network? When the different, uh, you can say, type of hardware and software we try to connect. For example, if we try to connect our computer with a supercomputer or with a workstation, in that case, a gateway is required when we try to connect a dissimilar network. Fine students, so these are the six networking device. I hope all concepts are clear. Thank you.